everyone in this chapter we are going to study about the quantification of elements and compounds what is quantification in chemistry quantification means analysis or determination of absolute or relative abundance of a substance okay in our daily life to quantify something or a matter we use several methods so here we are going to see how can we quantify an element or the compound to quantify an element or a compound we are going to use these methods first one relative atomic mass to find out the relative atomic mass we are going to use an unit that is called atomic mass unit and relative atomic masses of some elements relative molecular mass avocadro constant and mole and molar masses number 1 relative atomic mass symbol ar relative atomic mass means that is a quantification of a element or compounds mostly used in chemistry in our daily life to measure or to quantify some object we use several units for example to measure the weight we use kilogram grams and milligrams but if the mass of the object is very small we couldn't able to find a particular value for that object we may get the answer in the decimal value that mean mass value obtained will be extremely small all the elements all the molecules and compounds have very extremely small mass even the atogram the smallest unit of mass is too large to indicate the mass of atoms or ions In this screen you can see the real weight of some elements like hydrogen carbon sodium chlorine and potassium These real weights are very very small and we feel cumbersome to use this type of small figures in calculation For this reason real mass of elements and compounds are going to compare to another small unit in chemistry this unit is called atomic mass unit masses of elements and compounds are going to state relative to this small unit this is called relative atomic mass and relative atomic mass is not a true mass of that atom or the element the mass of an atom of hydrogen the lightest element was used as atomic mass unit so finally relative atomic mass means which tells you the number of times an average atom of an element given from the sample this is the elemental symbol of carbon and chlorine in the bottom region you see atomic number of these elements in this region you will see the mass number of chlorine 
even in the periodic table under each element you can see the mass number of all the elements these are these are the not the real weight of these elements but they are relative atomic mass of these elements in this table you can see the relative atomic mass of some elements hydrogen 1 carbon 12 nitrogen 14 oxygen 16 sulfur 32 and chlorine 35.5 and remember these are not the real weight of these elements but they are the relative atomic mass which has compared to some small unit let's see what is that small unit that is called atomic mass unit a unit of mass for expressing masses of atoms molecules or nuclear particles the mass of the unit relative to which the mass of the other atoms are expressed is called atomic mass unit. Atomic mass unit is expression of atomic and molecular weights equal to one twelfth of the mass of an atom of carbon 12. Carbon 12 means don't be confused. If you take carbon, there are several isotopes found in the carbon. Within that, we are going to use the mass of carbon 12. So, atomic mass unit means 1 over 12th of mass of carbon 12. Mass of the carbon 12, real mass of the carbon 12 is. 1.99 into 10 to the power minus 3 grams. So, atomic mass unit, we have to divide this real mass of carbon 12 by 12. So, finally, we will get the answer 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 24 grams. This is the atomic mass unit. So, we are going to compare all the real weights of the elements to this 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 24 grams. How many times an atom of a given element weighs as much as 1 over 12 the mass of C12 isotope is the relative atomic mass of the element? So, here this is the equation for the relative atomic mass. Here we are going to divide the real weight of an element by atomic mass unit. For example, the real weight of an oxygen is 2.66 into 10 to the power minus 23 grams. So, we have to find out the relative atomic mass of oxygen. So, real weight of an oxygen is divided by atomic mass unit which is 1 over 12th of mass of carbon 12 isotope. So, finally, you will get the answer 16.02. But we already know that the oxygen atom has a weight of 16. So, now we can understand all those masses which is found in the periodic table is not the real weight of that element. That is a relative atomic mass of that element and another point to remember relative atomic mass has no unit in this table you can see atomic number and relative atomic mass of element from atomic number 1 to 20 
mass of sodium atom is 3.819 into 10 to the power minus 23. And it is very difficult to use this amount in the calculation. So we have to find out the relative atomic mass and we can substitute this relative atomic mass for all the calculations in chemistry. So for that, we are dividing this real mass by atomic mass unit which is 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 24 grams. So finally we will get the answer 23. So the mass number of sodium is 23. The mass of an atom of element A is 8 times the mass of carbon 12 isotope. So we have to find out the relative atomic mass in this calculation. So let's write the formula for the mass of atom A which is 8 times greater than mass of carbon 12. So, relative atomic mass of A equal to, as usual, we have to write the formula and instead of mass of the atom, we are using this formula. And under this, atomic mass unit. So, we can cut both of these amounts. And finally, we will get the answer 96. Relative molecular mass, MR. We already know molecules are combination of two or three elements. Compounds are combination of two or three molecules. So, this Elements will not exist as free atoms in the nature. So, we also should know to find out the relative molecular mass for these compounds. So, here instead of an element, we are going to find out the relative atomic mass of a molecule or the compound. Same as before, we are going to divide this by atomic mass unit, which is 1 over 12, the mass of carbon 12 isotope. That means, how many times given molecule of element or a compound weight as much as 1 over 12, the mass of carbon 12 isotope, is the relative molecular mass of that element or compound. Like the relative atomic mass, relative molecular mass also have no, has no units. In this calculation, they have given real weight of carbon dioxide molecule. And to find out the relative molecular mass of carbon dioxide, we have to divide this real weight by relative atomic mass. Finally, we will get the answer 44. Also, there is another way to find out the relative molecular mass for compounds. If we know the relative atomic mass of the element which is participating to form that compound, then we can substitute the relative atomic mass and we can find out the relative molecular mass of that compound. For example, to find out the relative molecular mass of water, two hydrogen and one oxygen is present. So, relative atomic mass of hydrogen is multiplied by two and relative atomic, 
atomic mass of oxygen is added. So finally we will get the final answer 18. relative formula mass that means here we are going to indicate the mass of a crystal ionic lattice normally ionic compounds such as sodium chloride exist as lattice but not molecules if you take a lattice of one a lattice or one crystal you can find several sodium chloride molecules there so how can we express the mass of this crystal structure so don't bother about these things we are directly going to find out the relative molecular mass of sodium chloride This is known as formula mass or formula masses. In ionic lattice, relative molecular mass is relative to their empirical formula. If it is a sodium chloride crystal, you can find several sodium chloride molecules there. But we are going to express this mass by empirical formula of the sodium chloride okay student this is the end of the session today also if there is anything else that you want me to cover in my future science videos don't forget to give me your suggestions as a comment under this video and give us a thumbs up if you like our work and don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon right next to it. So, for the sodium chloride crystal, relative molecular mass is expressed as relative atomic mass weight of sodium and chlorine. Finally, we will get the answer 58.5.